Have you guys watched Crash Landing on You? Well, the story is a fictional story based on romance, but most of the projects delve into the topic of the two Koreas division deal with the tensions taking place on the Korean peninsula. As tensions between North and South Korea have been escalating for weeks, South Korean films that delve into the topic of the two Koreas division are regaining attention, and today I'll give you several recommendations. First movie is Still Rain. Usually, most of these projects are based on historical authenticity, but in the 2017 political action thriller Still Rain, the director put a fictional scene where North Korean military commandos hijack an artillery system of the U.S. Army in the South, wrecking havoc on the Joint Industrial Park. And as Tuesday's blow-up of an inter-Korean office building in the Kaesong Industrial Complex echoes in the film, fans of Still Rain took to social media to comment on the overlapping of imagery from the movie and the real-life incident. One of the users even uploaded a screenshot of Tuesday news footage on the incident with the comment, Still image from Still Rain 2 leaked. Still Rain, directed by Yang Woo Seok and starring Jung Woo Seok and Kwak Do Won, depicts a story of the two Koreas on a collision course to nuclear war after a military coup attempt in the north and it got 7.1 out of 10 rating from IMDb. A sequel of Still Rain, Still Rain 2 Summit is set to be released within this year, but does not share the same universe with the 2017 film. If you want other high-profile films that delve into the topic of the division of the Koreas, there are 2017 action film Confidential Assignment, starring Hyunbin and Yoo Hae-jin, and last year's Ash Fall, a natural disaster film with Ha jung as its lead, followed a story on the eruption of Mount Baekdu on the northern tip of the peninsula. Also, you can't miss out Joint Security Area by Park chan -wook and 2018 action film Take Point. However, on March 4th, North Korean media has lashed out at South Korean dramas and films for showing the North in a bad light and engaging in atrocious provocation that are deceptive, fabricated, and absurd. What do you guys think of the movies that I've mentioned today? Do you also think the movies are fabricated or are getting more realistic? This was Sumi from Korea Now.